All right, everybody, welcome back to the Miami Herald's High School Football Gridiron Report. We're here at Jackson High School, Soul Bowl week. Doesn't get any better than this, a rivalry game right before the playoffs. And this year, a little more special, I think, in this rivalry game because both teams are headed to the postseason. We're here with Coach Earl Little, some of his top players. Coach, thank you for having us first off, and congratulations on this turnaround season for the program. Uh, to start off, just tell us a little bit, this is your first season here, um, tell us a little bit about what's been the key to success to turn this proud tradition to kind of get it going again because they, they had had a tough season last year here. Well, it's, all, it's always about the kids. Uh, the kids, they put in the hard work in the classroom, on the football field, in the weight room. So they bust their butt all summer. And uh, for these kids to go out here and uh, to make the playoff for our first year here together as a family is big. And the Soul Bowl, that's what it's all about. I grew up watching the Soul Bowl. Both of my parents graduated from Northwestern. So I know what this tradition is all about. This is your first year as a head coach in, in this county, um, but you had been a defensive coordinator at a few places already, so you're familiar with the scene. I mean, talk about this first season, you know, how, how much you've, you've taken from it to learn and continue to grow as a coach. Well, just, just uh, working with the kids. Uh, this is something I've always been doing uh, while playing in the NFL, working with the kids. And then after I, after I finished, after I retired, you know, I'm coaching at Miami Central, like you see, I spoke in a uh, few schools, uh, being a defensive coordinator at Central and at Dr. Crop before I went up to Broward County. So uh, this right here is, is nothing new to me. You know, some people think I'm from Broward County, but I, I was born and raised in, in Liberty City. So uh, I know what it's about. And like I said, it, it always come back to the kids, man. And, um, and that's what it's about. You still tell the kids stories about great defense uh, back in the day, like only gave up 31 points? Oh, yeah. I, I brag about uh, the original Swamp Dogs. Uh, so I talked to them about it. And, and it's, uh, like I said before, it's good for people, you know, besides myself to talk about it. And uh, because giving up 31 points the whole football season, the 14 came in the first game. That's something hard to do. Well, um, and since it is about the kids, let's introduce these guys. Tell us each one, introduce each one, and tell us a little bit about them, why they've been important to the team. Well, uh, this is, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. Tobias Parker, star in free safety. Devin Phillips, star quarterback. Devontae Hatton, star in receiver. Carl Thompson, star in right tackle. Javon Hunt, star in left tackle, D tackle. Jamal Smith, star in. Uh, all these guys. Uh, uh, Tobias, uh, he kind of reminds me a little bit uh, when I was in high school. Uh, you know, he, 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 him and a guy um, named, um, we call him Duke, but um, Went, um, Winton Moulton, they're my safeties. And uh, those guys, they, they bring it. They have good cover skills and they bring it. Um, and, um, and I can't say much more about those guys. They're leaders back there. Uh, and also, I have other guys at uh, uh, K Black, which is Kevin um, Lipstone and, and Bam. And I got uh, CJ a as well. But uh, you got Desmond, he's our quarterback. Uh, Desmond's an athlete. I mean, he can throw the ball, I mean, he can run, he's that dual threat guy that you have. And um, Devontae Hadley, uh, that's, that's Mr. Shurehand, that's, that's, that's Mr. Steve Larger right there. Uh, one of the, all these kids work hard, so I just don't want to point somebody as a hard worker. And you got Big Carl over there, Big Carl, he's a beast on that O-line. You know, uh, so we got him and we got Javon. Javon, uh, he think he's a running back, but you know, he, he's one of our guards and, uh, and uh, one of our defensive ends slash D tackles. And then uh, I can't say much more about this young cat right here, uh, Shamar Smith. He's a beast. Uh, all these guys can play, but uh, I let him speak to Ray Lewis one time on the telephone. And so Ray Lewis gave him um, some good words because I see a whole lot of potential in this guy and all these guys. But Shamar go really hard as well. It's been a tough schedule. I mean, talk about some of the goals you guys had coming in. You know, you've been able to obviously realize some of them by making the playoffs. But um, what were some of the things that, that you focused on early on? As, as the program started to develop here with you? Uh, just just um, us as a family, just working uh, and trusting each other. And, and what I can say, when we first came here in January, these kids welcomed us with open arms. I mean, I can honestly say that. Uh, you know, you had some kids that ran away or whatever the case may be, but the kids that are here, they wanted to be here, and those are the kids that we want to coach. But uh, just watching these guys work hard and, uh, and get after it and uh, develop that, um, that, that bond, that friendship, and these kids, they'll tell you, they were tired of losing. You know, and for us to go up and make this step and make the uh, playoff this first, this first year together, it says a lot about the kids. And then, then you go to the um, coaching staff because without them, we wouldn't be able to get there. You got, obviously, we talked about the Soul Bowl this week. Naples Lili is in the first round. Uh, and then potentially down the road, if you get past that, maybe American Heritage again. What would realistically, you would, what would be the point where you would consider this season a success or do you already consider it a success? Tell us just about the, the ultimate goal for this team. Well, the ultimate goal is um, state championship. I mean, um, no, no doubt about it. We, no one said it was going to be um, an easy walk. Um, and, and I think we had the best, we playing in the best state and we playing in the best area, South Florida. 
I think we had the toughest schedule across the nation than any other team. We played four state champions, you know, including the other teams that we had to play. Uh, you know how it is down here in South Florida. So uh, I, the state championship, I told these kids when I first got there, I still have that dream and we have that dream collectively as a group that we, I see four buses leaving out that parking lot to go to, to, go to Orlando. And, um, uh, and we just got to continue to do it. We bought our ticket to go to the dance. And that's what I like to say. We got the ticket where well, we didn't buy it, we earned it. So we had that ticket and, uh, and Lili is, uh, is the first, uh, first step. Well, Coach, we congratulate you and to all the guys here. You know, keep it going. Good luck this week. You can catch the Generals in the Soul Bowl. Northwestern's won 12 of these in a row. Maybe this is the year the streak ends. We'll see on Friday night.